Okay, this is one of the possible solutions for the cutter mechanism. I'll show you what I got here. This is two solenoids. One, two, and usually they have a return spring on them like that. Uh, but I took that off because it it's not needed when I use two. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the one and it's going to pull this, pull this, uh, the cutter mechanism all the way open or closed, whatever. Simulation for this simulation doesn't matter. And then it's going to attach itself to the magnet. And then the other one is going to, is going to activate and it's going to open it back up. The reason I'm doing this is because with one uh, solenoid and a spring, you either have to keep the solenoid fully on or uh, fully open or, or fully closed. So it, th that way the solenoid gets hot. But this way I activate it just to move it to its destination and then it, uh, it stops and the heat is not necessarily as much. So here's a demonstration of how it's going to work. Now you can see there's a lot of slop and whatnot. Obviously this is just a demonstration to show that this is a functional method. And you can see that it's opening and closing just fine. Occasionally it will get stuck, but that's just due to the imperfections in the manufacturing. Considering I did this all with a handrail, uh, I think that's acceptable. So it's opening and closing just fine. And this would be what would uh, cut, be cutting the water.